this uh, to this wonderful event. And since I'm the first one, I want to wish the best of luck to all participants. I think I, I didn't have a chance to review your presentations, but I'm sure you're all can. Um, I'm, it's an honor for me to represent my company here today. Um, just a brief introduction. We're a product company that's uh, creating a platform which consists of both software and hardware for location-based services and analytics. Um, we help uh, commercial venues like shopping malls, retail stores, entertainment centers, um, and, and many other airport uh, exhibition centers to innovate and to uh, create contextual experiences uh, and location-based services. Um, we're um, Delaware Corporation headquarters in Kiev, uh, 35 team members, uh, 28 of them in, in Kiev, Ukraine. Um, we raised 1.4 million up to now, um, and uh, I wish I wanted to start my. Uh, just a second. Uh, I think it's an old presentation. Uh, I actually, okay, but I, I just had a bunch of numbers there, which which actually explained that uh, you know, mobile is ruling the world. Um, you know, we see uh, people using uh, the mobile devices as second screens in almost every day activity, and when we shop, when we entertain, when we. Uh, uh, work and uh, it's pretty, pretty clear that uh, uh, mobile is the most uh, preferable media channel and meaning the most powerful source of influence on human behavior and decisions. And of course, the, the best marketing tool ever invented today. Uh, and when, when it comes to uh, mobile experiences, it has to be personalized and contextual. And if you think about it for a while, it's very, very interlinked with location. It, it, you have to know where you are. Uh, the system has to understand that you're close to a department of a store with, with shoes uh, or with jackets and to push relevant information. When you're participating in an event, you want to know what stands, what companies are around you. Um, when you're you know, entertaining, you want to know what attractions are close to you and so on and so forth. Um, so this is why... Oops. Okay, uh, this is what actually um, inspired those guys over here. Uh, to, uh, to start working on, on our product and um, to create Integra. Um, so I can speak about 15 minutes about every of those people. Uh, okay, so um, this is what we're actually doing. We have two devices. One is, uh, is a pop, basically sensor slash gateway which acquires and analyzes all the wireless traffic which is in there. And the second kind of devices are uh, the tags which are basically rebroadcasting signals. Um, so what, what the system does, okay. Okay, so uh, this, this device interacts with smartphones, wearables, and location tags. So basically it acquires the traffic and understands where the devices are. So it's both real time and historical data. Uh, then it pushes, so basically we have wireless sniffing without any mobile applications, without any connections. Then when people get connected to a local Wi-Fi, we can then have better experience and of course the best experience can be provided by mobile apps. We have all, um, all solutions. Uh, and this data is then pushed to our big data engine and analyzed so for real-time tracking, proximity marketing, analytics, and of course we have remote management of all the devices. Um, yeah. Yes, so uh, this brings us to, sorry, okay. the computer. yes, um, so we, that's our key technologies and key experiences. We have wireless location technologies, which are real-time location uh, systems and iBeacon and Eddystone. We have our own hardware and firmware, uh, network planning and, and provisioning, remote monitoring of all the infrastructure. Of course, our back big data analytics uh, aggregation pipeline, we have a bunch of business metrics that are uh, re represented on the web UI. And of course, we're integrated with multiple BI tools. One of them is Tableau. And of course, uh, regarding content delivery, we do CMS, mobile SDKs. Uh, we have a web, web RTLS uh, framework and of course, a platform API um, that may help. So this is, this is just a review of uh, the platform. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, those are the location data which we can gather, um, the user data which we can gather, our solutions are mobile marketing information, operational intelligence, and location-based safety and security. 
we charge for uh, one-time fee for the hardware, recurring revenue, recurring fees for uh, the subscription, basically platform as a service or s uh, software as a service, and then solution as a service in the end. Uh, regarding the traction, uh, I have a couple more slides. Sorry. Oh, okay, uh, that's an old presentation anyway. Um, so we have a bunch of good customers. I, I can send a new one, I'm sorry for that. Uh, we have a bunch of customers like Auchan, for example, uh, like Ace Hardware Stores. We also have yeah, partners. So, sorry, my time is over. Yeah. So you didn't have a chance to talk, tell us about your current traction, about the clientele, uh, revenues, yes, unfortunately. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so we have uh, right now seven customers which are running pilots. The two big ones, there, there are about five malls, but the two big ones are Auchan and uh, Ace hardware stores. Um, right now we have uh, seven certified partners. Uh, which are implementing our and, and both of each of each of those have uh, from 20 to, to 50 uh, leads which we're currently working on and uh, the other uh, track which we're going is uh, creating end-to-end -end solution with system integrators and those solutions include uh, FMCG analytics which is specifically for FMCG um, analytics uh, interaction in uh, entertainment venues like casinos like theme parks um, we have a solution for large malls and wholesale markets and smart city and actually the last one is, is giving us a lot of traction and we're doing a lot of customization works and, and sales in, in that uh, particular niche. Okay, but do you have revenues? Yes, yes. How much? This quarter is expected about 300k uh, and next quarter probably even more. How about birth rate? Our burn rate right now is uh, about eighty thousand dollars per month. What are the benefits? The best benefits you can demonstrate to your clients, and who are your clients exactly? Well, our clients are actually malls and, and any any kind of commercial commercial uh, venues which want to implement location-based services, contextual services. And the main problem here is, is first, it's, it's pretty hard because you, there is no end-to-end -end solution. You have to take pieces, you have to take, like I think about from three to five different components and put them all together. And this is a really large and risky uh, venture. Um, and the second thing, the second problem is that uh, those venues are actually owning media the, the mobile, their, their branded application, their, their mobile website, their mobile their captive portal inside their uh, their venue is that the, the, the media channel is the main kind of uh, source that you can leverage and interact with your audience that you can monetize but they're not able to do that so this is a big problem and we provide an end-to-end -end solution that can solve that so basically coming to us they can have out-of-the-box platform that is ready to go how do you plan to overcome privacy concerns and privacy protection especially in the u.s well, we don't actually, unless you opt in, we don't actually gather any um, personal data. We, what we acquire here is uh, MAC addresses, but then we hash them and they become an unpersonalized kind of data. And when people opt in, only then we, uh, we can track them and, and that's absolutely fine. Have you time for questions? Yes. Do I, that's yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, it sounds like a lot of hardware involved in the solving your client's problems. But my question is to you, can you do the same with the software only? Or is that to be hardware involved? Or, part, or partially, or whatever? Well, that's a very good question. You can do the same, but there are lots of implications. You're completely dependent on third-party hardware vendors. For example, there are many companies similar to ours which do it on Cisco or Aruba hardware. First, it's expensive, and second, you're, again, completely dependent on them, and it doesn't enable multiple scenarios. What we see now is 80% of our customers, they like the product, but they need some customization. You can't customize Cisco equipment, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, that's, that's where, we, where we come in, and, and this is our edge, because, for example, a company like Proxama, they're a uh, London-based, very successful uh, iBeacon company, 
Um, and and they, they actually started working with us because no other vendor can do customizations for them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Следующий стартап часто называют одним из самых загадочных стартапов в последнее время. Отгадайте, что это за стартап? Правильно, Лизыгин. Добро пожаловать на сцену. Микрофон там можно взять? Да, у вас пять минут. Английский язык. Не слышите меня, говорите по-английски. И uh, сразу скажу, что подготовился следующий стартап Concept Soul. Hi everyone, it's really a pleasure to be here. Just came back from the business trip to Kiev, and it's really awesome that so many people are around. Um, so, how did you sleep last night? Please raise your hands. Who had a really incredible night's sleep tonight? Cool, somebody. And who saw dreams in the sleep? Great. So we are talking about dreams <coughs> at, this, at this point. Uh, so the main idea is to enhance your sleep quality via lucid dreaming. The problem is we spend one third of our life sleeping. It's about 25 years we spend in a dream, which is completely unconscious state. We can use this time to embrace all our wishes and make our dreams come true. There is also a challenge that, uh, because nobody, not all people know about such possibility, but those who know form the community of people who are really up to this challenge to crack the lucid dream. It's very hard to get there. People practice for years to do so. But we have developed a solution. It's a um, hardware wearable uh, device which you put on your head. Uh, this is it. Please, uh, you can pass it over people. <laughs> yes, and um, so it applies neurostimulation to induce lucid dreaming while you are sleeping. Uh, there is also a connected mobile app with um, Wi-Fi. So you sync all your data and track your sleeping phases. And of course, put all your dreams so in a dream me. diary app. Uh, so we are on the intersection of these three markets, which are growing really rapidly. Um, we, have, we are the only uh, lucid dreaming vendor with a unique patented lucid dreaming technology out there. Thank you. Um, our business model is to sell the device, and uh, also we will test the paper dream subscription business model. Um, there were pioneer, uh, pioneers on Kickstarter who used flashlights or sound to induce lucid dreaming. First proved uh, ineffective, and the second one had not shipped for four years already. Uh, at this point, we have, a uh, we have uh, more than 100 customers uh, worldwide who already bought the device and waiting for the shipment, which uh, will commence um, this, uh, which commence uh, in May, because uh, we have established our own manufacturing line, and at this point we are actually getting the devices here in Kyiv next week. So we are, will form a line of people who will test them, and so we will, uh, it will, we will really encourage people to test because we need raw data from blogs. So everyone are welcome. We have also connections with opinion makers and lucid dreamers from around the world. Have been on lots of conferences, including the Crunch Disrupt uh, a year ago. We have a huge dream team uh, for, with 12 people involved. There are engineers, um, neuroscientists, and uh, lucid dreamers uh, as well. Um, it's nice to tell that we are, at this point we are funded and we are looking for future connections for seed round to scale. Uh, our main goal at this point is to launch a crowdfunding campaign after we receive feedback from our first customers. Because there is a huge community who is going to fund us only if we provide proof and feedback from real customers first. Uh, also, a little bit piece of update if I, if I still have time. Um, we have um, 
uh, been a part of the COVID accelerator and uh, have been to Estonia and other parts of Europe where we are now establishing CE certification, uh, which will prove that our device is absolutely safe for uh, every, day, every night usage. Oh, we also, thank you, we also uh, doing patents in Europe and uh, yeah, and basically let me answer your questions. Thank you very much. Have all pleasant dreams and do not use such a great opportunity to fulfill your dreams while sleeping. Thank you. You're welcome. So tell us about the technology you use. Is this sound? What is it? What is it? Waves? What is it? Uh, this is near stimulation, so it's basically electricity. Uh, device works on 40 Hz frequency. Uh, when you go to sleep, it detects your REM phase. In this phase, you usually see the dream, and it applies this mild electronic impulse you do not feel at all. And uh, while you are dreaming, you bec you become aware that it's a dream, and you can learn to take control of the plot and fulfill all your wishes. Does this product require any uh, certification, special certification in some markets? Um, as we know, as far as we know, for U.S. and Europe market, no. Uh, only the standard um, FCC for F FFA, yeah, FFA for United States. We are now doing C for Europe, and uh, there are um, device, other devices which use near stimulation for other purposes, and um, they uh, do not require FDA. But, okay, you mentioned two companies that fundraised and Kickstarter with the same pretty much idea, different technology. But who is the currently on the market that actually is selling it, pretty much in the same field, similar product, anyone? Uh, the same field is, uh, like the best thing to do is education. So it's uh, courses, uh, lectures, techniques, gathering people like this and learning them, how, teaching them how to lose a dream. But I meant the same product. Is there uh, the same product on the market that already is selling it? Uh, th there are only products who use who use flashlights which are ineffective. So every new product who uses the same technology or if you heard binaural beats, maybe somebody heard, this is all money waster and people still buy them, but they are failing day by day if they do this new product. There is no product who, which uses near stimulation at this point. And uh, uh, basically uh, this, this is currently more or less new emerging market, I would say. Sure. Um, have you ever, uh, tested, have you ever device tested remind the sleep institutes? Sleep deprivation is a big problem in the developed world, but there are many institutes in America and Europe, and maybe they're testing this device will give you the recognition and help you with marketing. That would be really great. Um, uh, thank you for the proposition. We are considering like all help we can get for testing the device with some uh, with any institutions possible. So uh, this is like only the contacts issue. We will provide these institutions with devices uh, uh, starting from next month. We are able to do this. So if you have a chance, 100% uh, yes. Yes, good idea. Sleep disorders is the biggest problem in the world. So there are many issues, I guess. So, uh, just a small remark. We want to make this uh, product like this so people will run back home to put it on and go to sleep. So that's the key idea. So the people will be dreaming all day about them wearing it and going to sleep because it will be so exciting. I don't want to spoil the party, but what is the downside of usage of this product from your previous testing? Uh, downside. Uh, the downside, well, um, you do not usually go to sleep with something on your head, right? So you should adjust. Uh, maybe it takes one or three days to become like uh, confident with this thing on your head. Maybe you will wake up with it lying near you. Um, for maybe we need more prolonged tests, like several months in a row to figure out something um, else. Uh, but at this point, uh, as, our t as for our team, we have been testing lots of stuff, lots of stimulations, lots of research have been done on us, and uh, yet uh, there was no side effects, no visible side effects. But we also did uh, even MRI tests on ourselves to prove that it's harmless, at least for us. So, so what can you demonstrate? What, what is the proof that it works? Uh, we can give, uh, we have already 
throughout the year we had lots of tests with lots of feedback from lots of people. But we're going to do more and more. Now since we have the manufacturing line, we uh, start with 150 device, devices which we will have next month for our customers and beyond. And after that we will manufacture more and more and give people to test. Because so on what is the feedback so far? What the did they say? The feedback so far is much better than <laughs> we thought it would be. Because the lowest thing you can get with it is Im Im completely immersive, colorful dreams in which you um, make decisions. And maybe, not on, maybe you don't realize that you are dreaming. But if you, if you are not lucid dreamer, of course. Uh, but these dreams are incredible. And you will see that at least when you try the device. And if you get the awareness feeling, you, won't, you will be like prompt to do it again, you will crave to do it again. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now you can relax, but don't sleep, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, эти ребята заботились о вашем сне, да, многие из нас любят поспать, многие не любят. Uh, следующий стартап, который представит свой проект, uh, позаботится о том, сколько времени вы проводите со своими друзьями. Итак, встречайте концептор Soul. Hello everyone, so I'm Vlad from Conceptor and uh, yeah, we are a consumer technology company that makes, that makes uh, hardware and software products. Uh, maybe you know about our iGlazer LED flash uh, products. We already sold more than 35,000 units around the world, including big uh, stores like Apple stores, Best Buy, Walmart and others. Uh, more than 70,000 applications were downloaded that's uh, supporting our flashes and uh, a few weeks ago more than uh, 1 million shots were made by our flashes. So that was a good business for us but we were thinking okay what another problem can we solve? What another product might be useful for, for people and for, for not just for our uh, photography community but uh, for the people overall. We were thinking, uh, what's, what's the main uh, resource every human has? And actually it's time. We have limited amount of time that we, yeah, have limited amount of time that we have yeah, through our life. And uh, we thought that we can, we have lots of skills in application development and in hardware development and uh, yeah, and uh, we decided to build an application and a number of sensors that will allow to uh, to think about your time and to take care of it and use it more properly. So we decided to make three launches through the next year. The first one was made uh, just uh, two days ago. That was our first con concept of salt that actually tracks time with uh, people. Uh, yeah, with people, with people around you. Uh, the the first concept we we presented on in uh, CES, and we got uh, best of CES nomination by Engadget for the best of the product. And uh, two days ago, we we we, we have launched our Indiegogo campaign, and uh, about come um, uh, variable that come and many other uh, good media. Uh, supported our idea and uh, already more than 100 sensors were, were backed by our campaign and more than uh, 1,000 uh, applications were downloaded. Uh, our next idea will be, our next update of our application will be the, the full tracking of the time that every person has. Actually it's a uh, location based uh, tracking that application will show how much time you're spending on five different uh, activities in, in our life. Actually, it's, uh, it's sleep, it's work, it's time, uh, time you travel from, one, from different locations, uh, it's your uh, lifestyle uh, activities and uh, sport. So that will allow us to track 24 hours every human has. Uh, we, can, we can help them uh, adjust the goals they really want like, to work less than eight hours have more time for, for, for the family and uh, being active like for 30 minutes. And that will allow us to, to build uh, uh, the proper application 
that that will show how much time you're spending and motivates you to to care, take care of your life. Actually, we we found that more than 20% of uh, American uh, citizens uh, have problem of uh, work-life balance, and that's that might be that will be the tool that that help that. With the with the launch of uh, this software, we launch. Uh, Another sensor that will be like uh, eye beacons for for the for the consumers for the average consumer. You can you can put the sensor anywhere you want, like in your in your desk, in uh, in the office, in your meeting room, in your in your car, in, in your flat, and we can we can say how much exactly time you're spending in uh, in exact uh, room or space. And uh, our third launch. We, yeah, that will be a 24, Soul 24, that will track, uh, it will not just track, it will analyze the, the, the data we get and make uh, the analytics and the right solutions how you can adjust your timings. So regarding the competition, the, the closest competition uh, competitor is, uh, is paper and, uh, and pencil because that's the, the only resource you human have, uh, human uh, people have to to put the time they are, they are spending on, and then uh, adjusting uh, adjusting that time and analyzing it. Our application is fully automatic. Also, we have some uh, qualified itself uh, uh, products that uh, uh, that's already sold to other companies and yeah, and uh, some other variables. Thank you. You have a big team. Time is over. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm strictly. You have five minutes for questions. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, so your last slide was about the competition, and you said that your competition is a pen and paper method. Yeah. So my question to you, how you, who is going to be your early adopters, and how are you going to motivate people to actually use this app to track the time? time? Why I would do this? Okay, so firstly it's a qualified self movement. And lots of people are finding new ways what what they can track. And the, the time is uh, actually it's, it's a big problem. Time management. Uh, lots of media writing about this problem every day. And lots of people thinking how they can be more productive. And they are going to uh, some uh, how how is it called like uh, classes how to be more productive and so on. So we, we don't have a problem. We can see we don't see any problem to get uh, early early users. So what's the hook? How you hook people to just to start using it? Um, Any plan? Yeah, you, uh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you usually launch uh, launch our products in, uh, on uh, Kickstarter or Indiegogo, and we, we have a good press coverage. Yeah, and uh, the main message is uh, uh, the main mission is to help people uh, use more effectively effectively their main resource in their life. Do you have competitors? Uh, so yeah, there is no exact product on the market. Yeah, but uh, people usually they, they put their data on the on the paper. Then they analyze the, the time they spend, and they then they are thinking, okay, I need to spend more time on what's important to me and less time what to, what what is distracting me. Yeah, but we can do everything using just application or our sensors. So yeah, but. There are qualified self uh, products that's actually tracking life in different uh, styles, and uh, yeah, most of that uh, applications and products they are being sold to other big companies, so they're raising a lot. So yeah, it's, it's a good market to be in. Um, I think it's less important how much time they spend; it's how they spend their time. Yeah. So how can you get their productivity better? This is really the secret. If you could figure that out, you would have something. Okay, so that's our big, big mission. <laughs> yeah, to to figure that out and uh, to to make like a, a proper analytics of the data we are getting. Yeah, but uh, our next launch that we are planning in the end of the summer, uh, you can adjust like the your goals. Like you want to sleep eight hours a day. You want to work more or less than eight hours. You want to, to to hang out with your friends like once a week, <coughs> and some applications getting the data, and we can make you some notifications. Okay, it's it's time to go to go out and stop stop working. You know. 
I apologize if I missed it. What's the business model? Uh, so yeah, uh, time. we are making uh, sensors that we that we are selling, but our main uh, goal for this business model is during the launch of uh, Sol 24 with the right analytics to make the premium uh, feature, so people will pay like three to five uh, dollars per month to get the, the right data, the right analytics. Thank you. Thanks. Итак, вы выспались, нагулялись со своими друзьями, и теперь думаете, чем бы заняться, да? Хорошая идея была бы сходить на какой-то концерт, да, любимой группы, но не всегда есть такая возможность, да, сходить на выступление любимого артиста в день, который вы захотите. И тут на помощь придут, наверное, ребята из стартапа Абрилон, да? Приглай, готовьтесь. Hello everyone, thanks for inviting and since uh, from what I've heard so far it looks like we are the youngest startup here and it's an honor for us to be among the best. Thank you. My name is Dima Kerpo and I represent Apelon. Apelon is a platform for live concerts in virtual reality. So we discovered two main problems. Music fans desire to attend live shows more often and be closer to their favorite bands. And artists at the same time, they want to increase their audience during live concerts and get more revenue. And very often both of them cannot reach each other if they have more than 500 miles split. What could be a possible solution? A possible solution could be a place in virtual reality where music fans can attend live concerts, live streamed in virtual reality, always get the best spot in front and save money on tickets in virtual reality. At the same time, artists can sell tickets for their live shows in virtual reality, gather more fans all around the globe and boost tickets and merchandise revenue. We've done market validation so far, and it looks like uh, there is a big potential. Uh, on Google Play, for example, there is more than 500,000 downloads of Paul McCartney's 360 video concert downloading already, and more than 13 million um, such volume for, vir uh, for virtual reality concert um, in 2015. We'll skip this slide because nobody is interested in numbers, I guess. So what is the product? Actually, the product is a platform for artists who can sell tickets to their live concerts in virtual reality and for fans who can buy those tickets and experience live concerts their favorite artists in virtual reality. All you need for that is your smartphone, a VR headset, as Google Cardboard, Oculus Rift, or whatever you have, up and on application, and that's it. You buy a ticket and you can visit your favorite show even if it's in Australia, favorite band. So what are our business model? Our business model is pretty simple. Apelon takes 25 commission fee on every ticket sold. Uh, also, Apelon offers, as you can guess, uh, advertising, uh, tar tar advertising and uh, selling merchandise for bands. Of course, we have competition. There are pretty much of them. At the recent time, two main competitors of Apelon is uh, Vertify. They have a better version. They are working currently on live streaming of uh, virtual concerts, and also they offer equipment to stream live concerts. And recently, YouTube also, as you probably know, they launched a 360 video degree live streaming in YouTube. Um, so next, I will tell what set us apart and what advantages Apelon does have. So first of all, you should understand the difference between 360 video and virtual reality. It's a bit different. And Apelon offers you uh, exactly virtual reality experience. For example, YouTube, they have 360 degree video, uh, even live stream, but it's only video, it's not virtual reality. You can experience live videos like, it's not virtual reality, it's real reality. Uh, also, we offer multi cameras, so we can switch between different cameras. You can sell merchandise of a favorite band. For example, artists, they have a lot of merchandise and a lot of revenue they have exactly from selling those merchandise. And artists can sell merchandise exactly after the concert, right 
their favorite uh, to their fans. Uh, what is the main benefit for artists? They can make money, they can sell tickets, and they can attract more audience to their concert. Also, Apple Alone is easy to use, and it's brand and design. So, what are our current startups? As I already told, we are the youngest uh, startup here, so we just started in February, and we already have done a demo version. We have, by the way, we have it here, so if everyone is interested, we can show you what we have to offer, and you can experience virtual reality by yourself. Um, currently, we are working on. Uh, thank you. Currently, we are working on a prototype uh, to live stream exactly the the live concert. Um, what our risk minimization also? At the time we are working on prototype, we can record live concert. We can record 360 degree concerts on demand. In this case, we <coughs> can generate cash flow. We can gain more experience in working with bands, and we can gather more feedback. Thank you for your attention. Would be glad to answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, how do you plan to reach promoters? And how do you plan to get into venues? Okay, thank you. This is a very interesting question. And actually, um, we have marketing also. Uh, so the main thing is uh, artists, they have the most benefits of it. And we are actually planning to show artists that uh, they have the actual benefit, right? They can sell tickets and they can attract more revenue. So here comes. Uh, spreading the word. So artists tell to their fans that they have live shows right now in virtual reality. And anyone from any part of the world, if they can't reach them right now at this venue, they can join them in virtual reality. So at the first stage, it's spreading the word from uh, artists. So the artist is really a product. The real seller of the product is the promoter. So the, your goal is to reach the promoter and the venue. The artist kind of sort of is irrelevant in this formula. So how do you plan to reach the promoters? Okay, at first stage we are planning to call calling actually and to find those promoters, as you said, and just contact them, show the benefits, and that the most uh, part of the revenue from the shows they have to their room. And they don't need to share it with uh, concert agencies or whoever. Thank you. And my question is, who sets up the cameras? I mean, you had a slide with cameras, right? Sure. Is that something that you're involved in? At the beginning, yes. Uh, there would be a technical team who would go to the concert venue and will set up all the uh, equipment, all the cameras. But in the future, we're planning to make it so easy that uh, you don't need any technicians to do that. It should be as easy as to stream on YouTube, as YouTubers do. You just connect the camera to our platform and that's it. You press stream, you set the tickets uh, price and set the date when you're going to have a concert, that's it. And Who's set the bottom stream. Whose cameras? Uh, artists buy the cameras. Mm -hmm. In this case, if they buy cameras, why don't they translate it on their own? For me? Ah, okay. If artists, in your case, buy cameras, why doesn't they translate it on their website? Well, firstly, you have to have technology to show the 360 a video degree. Also, you have to build an ecosystem to where your users can buy those tickets. And secondly, it's live streaming 360 degrees. Something is relevant in you, and not, and not every like web designer or whoever can build this technology. And one more thing is that uh, our uh, ecosystem is virtual reality. So the user experience not only like a uh, regular YouTube channel. You uh, put your headset on your head and then you write in the uh, ecosystem in virtual reality where you can experience not only live concerts, you can experience the dis uh, discography, that you can experience uh, your band's favorite band's uh, gallery, for example, and you can buy merch there. Yeah. In any case, 25% is too too much as for me, yeah, because on the ticket market, 10% 10 of ticket price is... Well, it's a uh, different set because, uh, for example, uh, live streaming music services like Spotify, Apple Music, or Google Play Music, they take around 30%. So it's... Uh, well, last question. Uh, you mentioned uh, VRTify as a main competitor. 
My question to you, how much content, how many concerts they do stream per day? Actually, right now, they're not like doing this in a regular basis. Uh, the thing we know, actually, they did, uh, we are not sure about live stream, but they recorded a concert of, it seems to me, Coldplay, if uh, you know such band. And that was the, it seems to me they've done this in, uh, in March, in a month ago. Uh, we don't have any information about live streaming concerts in 360 right now, even from 35, because uh, as far as we know, they have, the, right now they're only on in, in beta. And they, um, their main concentration is on uh, offering equipment. So nobody in the world today is streaming in VR, is that correct? Uh, like on a regular basis? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure, we don't have relevant, we, we, we don't have this information. But we know that there are companies that already are close to to the to, to the same model as Vertify or YouTube. Sure. Thank you. More Thank questions, you. please. Thank you. Продолжаем дальше. Один из наших членов жюри, когда ему задают вопрос журналисты, какой язык молодежи следует учить. Сейчас, да, чтобы адаптироваться к современным условиям, отвечает, что это может быть любой язык, если это язык программирования. Да? Но мы чуть-чуть не согла согласимся с одной стороны, но тем не менее э хочу заметить, что английский язык также важен. Да? И для того, чтобы его, чтобы его выучить и отшлифовать до совершенства, э необходимо использовать некоторые, некоторые трюки, о которых может расскажет наш следующий стартап, это приплай. И э, после этого мы сделаем небольшой перерывчик на 15 минут. Hi everyone, thank you for the opportunity to pitch today. My name is Kirill, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Preply, the global marketplace for tutoring. And I'd like to tell you something about the tutoring market. This market is growing very fast. However, the global tutoring market is still extremely inefficient. I've tested all existing marketplaces and had very disappointing results with most of them. I had those people contacted me instead of the tutors I selected. There were paid rankings, there were fake reviews, and some companies were just very hard to find due to poor marketing. Moreover, moreover, there is no dominant player in the world as for now. And exactly that's why we built Preply, the global marketplace for tutoring. At Preply, the best tutors are always ranked first. We developed a unique performance-driven ranking algorithm that's based on data behind each tutor. We have verified profiles of trusted teachers Preply provides easy communication between private teachers and students. We also figure out how to attract and retain outstanding tutors. By creating world-class tools, we help tutors to do what they do best. We have lesson management and payment systems. Scheduling and instant booking tools allow students to book their lessons instantly with one just with just one single click and receive notification <coughs> at the right moment before the class. Internal interactive dashboard helps them to analyze their results and improve their rankings on traffic. Our proven business model has two parts. We, takes, we take 100% of the first lesson and then 9.5 all the following sessions. Our current gross merchandise volume surpassed $100,000 per month in March of this year. We record 13% of compound month on month growth over the last 12 months. We started working in April 2013. Since then, we have got over 20,000 tutors of a variety of different subjects, <coughs> such as math, English language, biology, or music. We already launched in five countries where we continue to grow. Germany and the United States are our next target markets. To make it all happen, we have got a great team. I'm really proud to work with my co-founders for more than four years together. Dmitry is an awesome CEO. He has more than 10 years experience in software development and search, and search is our product guy. He's really passionate about building the right experience 
for our customers. I am responsible for marketing. We also get a fantastic team working with us. These guys are super experienced in finance, legal, recruiting, and marketing. I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. I'm really proud to be from the country with incredible development experience and talent, where we have our marketing and development office. And this year, we're opening headquarters in Berlin to support our expansion, as Berlin has proven to be a great ecosystem for scaling. Track is already supported by awesome investors and mentors from Kyiv, Warsaw, Boston, and Berlin. They each bring essential skills and expertise to our strategy, marketing, and scaling. As for now, we have sufficient amount of funds to uh, continue our growth, and we already started preparation for our Series A round in 2017. Thank you for the attention. I talked to you two years ago, maybe. Yeah? What about revenues now? What do you mean by revenues? Uh, how much? How, so as for now, gross, gross, gross margin that's volume is surpassed one hundred thousand dollars per month. Uh, so our net revenue is thirty-five dollars per month. Thank you. More questions. So what is your uh, cost of the client acquisition and your business model? So. Definitely, it's different in different countries. So, as for now, on average, we acquire customers for ten dollars, and lifetime value is around forty. Okay. You still have a chance for more questions. Okay. No questions. You're lucky. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's have a break for ten minutes. Uh, you can uh, taste our tea, coffee, and cookies prepared specially for you. Let's meet here in 10 minutes.